Hello everyone and welcome to On The Hook. I'm Dave Sloan and yes, today it's a little bit cold, but I'll tell you what guys, don't put your boat away because there's a lot of good fishing still to be had here in New England. Today I'm going out of Boston Harbor and I'm going to do some cod fishing. There's a lot of big, great fish out there. So get your warm clothes, get your gear, and let's go do some cod fishing. Okay, well I know today is going to be a good day. Why you ask? Well, because I'm going out with Boston's best cod fisherman and Chuck Stefano aboard the Skipper Dory. I'm here at the dock. Let's go see if he's there and do some fishing. Hey Chuck, you aboard? Yeah, Dave. What's going on, buddy? Hey, good morning. Glad you could make it. Hey, glad to be here, man. We get some big cod in our sights, We're I think, today, go don't get we? Them. Pete Santini? Hey. Up, what the? Sorry. How are you doing? Sorry, Dave. I found him sleeping in the cabin. I don't Again, know what Pete? happened. I don't know how I got it here. Well, you brought the clams, right? You got it. All right, well, you got a good mate? Good day. Gonna murder him today. Gonna beat him up. Let's go do some cod fishing. Got it. All right, let's go. All right, before I bait this up, I want to just show you the type of rig that we're using again. Basically, we're just using cut clams, cut squid. We're baiting that on there. We could use jigs. We started using jigs before, but they were, really weren't producing very much. So it's a basic bottom rig. Again, that way it's going to go down. It's going to hang, hang down to the bottom. We're going to tend bottom with that. Got a nice little teaser. Gives it some color. Obviously, we're putting that clam on there. It's a two-bait rig right there, designed by Pete Santini himself. Uh, it's called the New England Deep Water Bottom Rig. So we're baiting that up. Looks just like that. We're gonna let it down. Got one. Not too big. I want some fish into the window. That's it. Nice and warm. Ah, nice cod. Get the hook out of him, man. This little market. A lot bigger than that, though. I'll let that one go. What? <laughs> what are you, crazy? We gotta eat. Things are bad. It's almost Christmas. What kind of Italian are you, Chuck? We never throw nothing back. Just get it. That's Captain Joe. Yeah, Chuck, yeah, I got one on. All right, Jake. Feels all right. Not bad. Nice November, late season Boston Harbor cod fishing. Can't beat it, guys. It's awesome. Right there with uh, Chucky DiStefano, Captain of Skipper Door. Here he is. Nice white belt. Nice little cod fish. Not that bad. Do I have to throw this one back too, Chuck? Huh? Oh, got one going right here. Okay. Them circle hooks, they work well. You never lose them with those circle hooks. All right, I guess we'll throw this one back. As much as mommy will hate me too. Mama, sorry. Oh, we got one up in the window too. Both you guys are on. What about me? Getting no love over here. I'll get them. I'll get mine. All right, let's see. Which piece looks lucky? Um... That piece looks, oh, that's a good piece, and I'll take that. That's good. Now, there's no real secret to baiting these rigs, guys. It's just a clam rig, just globbing it on there. Setting it down. You get a workout. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, son. I got me a good one right here, Pete. I'll tell you right now, November, we've already had snow on the ground. We're out here on a beautiful day, absolutely beautiful. And I'm on a big fish right here. This is a heavy action rod right here, too. It's a custom made rod by Fisherman's Outfit. And my friend up at Fisherman's Outfit, Johnny White, made me this rod. It's a big, heavy rod. And I'll tell you right now, it's got a good bend to it. And these fish fight. Don't let anyone kid you. How do you feel, Dave? Ah, oh, he feels good, Peter. Oh, he is. Look at the size of this guy right here. Get him coming up. I got you. Oh, baby. Right, Are you, you kidding go. me? Woo! What looking for? Nice job. That is a nice, big, healthy, fat. I don't mean to call him fat. It's okay to call a fish fat, right? You don't want to <laughs> no. call someone a fat guy. You don't want to call a woman fat. No, certainly not. What kind of rig you get I got him on that bait rig. Basically what this is, the bottom rig again, that bait, that uh, heavy weight, it's about a six ounce weight, it's gonna hang on the bottom. These two teaser rigs got clams on them, they hang up above the, the, uh, the bottom or the weight. And I'll tell you what, he hit that bait and just slammed it. Oh, are you kidding me? Look at that. About a 20 pounder. Can I get 25, 30? Maybe? We can weigh them so we don't have to No, lie. no, no, we wanna, we wanna guess. That right there is a big, nice, healthy cod. Right in the Boston Harbor, we're not that far out. Chuck definitely put us on the meat. You know what, Chuck, I don't usually do this, but I'm gonna let you off the hook right now with that fish. The rest of the day is just cake, it's candy. Oh, come on, we can That's a that. big, fat fish. I guarantee we'll get a bigger fish than that. You guarantee, you see guarantee. that? He guarantees bigger fish than this. I don't think so. But we're gonna put him in the box. Give me the cameraman. High five to the cameraman. Let's go, let's get him in. We're catching fish. That is a good fish, Chuck. All right, before I throw this guy back in the box, get a good look at him. That is a big, healthy, fat cod. Telltale sign of these cod, three dorsal fins on the back. A lot of the bottom fish, like Pollock, are uh, gonna have those three dorsal fins. That's a big, nice, heavy fish. And I'll tell you what, we got a good hook and cook coming up too, trust me. Awesome hook and cook with these big fish that Chuck's putting us on. It almost doesn't fit in the cooler. Nice fish. Boy, we're not even moving. I know, what a day, huh? No wind at all. Oh, you got a mud! Oh, I can't even get it out of the rod holder. There we go. There's That's rods all over the place. Ball. Yeah, this thing's this thing's like a tuna rod right here. Hey Chuck, I was just wondering when we're gonna get some fish on. We're working on it. <laughs> We've been out here 15 minutes. Got a nice big fat guy in the box. Rods are popping all over the place. What a day, couldn't pick a better day, huh? Beautiful. Doesn't get any better than this in November. Oh yeah, look at this. This could be the guarantee. Look at this. This is a 40, 50 pounder. Woo! Chucky, you're not kidding, buddy. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> oh boy, I had him hooked everywhere. You think that's bigger than the last? Yep. There you go, your guarantee came through. You're again off the hook. There you go. Look at the bellies on these guys. Arrgh! Loving it. Throw them in. Are you kidding me? You gotta get a shot of this. Look at this box. Look at the size of these. I wanna show both these guys to you. Look at that. Come on. Yeah, cod fishing is terrible. Are you kidding me? Look at the size of this. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it's hard. 
you always want to make sure you're tendon bottom when you're cod fishing. And what I mean by that is you always want to make sure that your weight or your jig is bumping the bottom. And to do that, you need nice heavy weight, especially if you're in a lot of current or a heavy wind. But uh, also the line that you need, you definitely got to use braided line. You're fishing anywhere from 60 to 100, maybe sometimes 200 feet. And braided line is going to be a lot more sensitive. And even more than that, it's not going to have any stretch at all. So when you go to set that hook in 200 feet of water, you're getting immediate impact down on that bait or on that hook. That's very important when you're fishing for cod or any kind of ground fishing. Chuck says we're on a good spot here. We're going to drop them down. And uh, hopefully we're getting, looking for that big 35, 40, maybe even 50 pound codfish. Biggest, by the way, in uh, Massachusetts. A record of 92 pounds. That's a big fish right there, especially codfish. Big hat, big heavy fat fish. So, they're at, on the bottom, they're in. I'm going to take a quick break. We come back, hopefully we're going to have a lot more big codfish. So stick around. Stay hooked, we'll be right back. Woo! Look at the belly on that guy. Over here. I love when Chuck's catching them out of the window. <laughs> a lot of fish have come through this window. A lot of fish have oh, come yeah. through this window. Feels pretty good unless it's a double. That's a nice one. That's a 40 pound. Woo! Look at the belly on that guy. Over here. Nice, yeah, Chuck. Look at the size of that. Nice. Look at the bellies on these fish. Yep. What do you say he is? He's about the same size as the other ones, maybe a little fatter? Yeah. About 35. Whew. There we go. Oh. Wow, nice job, Chuck. Great fish. Thank wow. you, sir. Turn around, take a picture. Look at the size of that guy. This is his biggest pea. It's it's bigger. bigger. He's happy to see you. I don't want to tell you whose belly's bigger. <laughs> dude. Dude. Pretty sure we're almost on. Pete, you, you think that's eating size, Pete? Well, I think that's big enough to keep. Yeah. I like them a little smaller. That's a steak up. A steak up. Oh, nice. Wow. <laughs> oh, Pete's got one back there. Come here. Come on, there we go. Yeah. Look in the mouth, look in the tail. It's a good one though. Yeah. Wow, look at that. We got four fish, it's over 120 pounds, I bet you. Uh-oh. Come on, Pete. Stop uh, with that. Dude, I mean, look at this. I'm trying. <laughs> what do you think it is? A flounder? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, I come on. I got this line. I got a line. Is that what it is? You got this line. Yeah. Probably got a little smoke. Oh, he's not a bad cod. Not big. Just all tangled up. Not a big one. Probably one on one of the other rods. Well, that's a good fish right there, too. Yeah. You got it on the teaser, too, Pete. Green pelican teaser. What is that? Green pelican teaser. Whew. Isn't that what you call it, Pete? Pelican green, right. Pelican green, yep. So you, you sent that down, he hit the teaser. Hey, thank you, Pete. Nice I'm telling you, you're a good guy. You're a good guy. There it is. Nice. Another good sized fish right there. Nice healthy fish. Big bellies on these guys. They're feeding because they're spawning up right now. Nice healthy fish. Oh yeah. 
as soon as I walk back up to it. Ah, <laughs> uh, not giant, but it feels pretty good. Yeah, although he's kind of wiggling his head a lot. And that's kind of a sign of a dogfish, right? If they're fighting a little bit. Yeah. Who knows? You never know. This time you get a caught. That's not what I said. It's a good size caught, though. Bound. Take them off for me. Thanks, Pop. All right, what a great day I had today fishing. And you know what? The best way to wrap up that day is to cook a delicious meal. And what I'm going to do today is a baked or a stewed cod dish. All goes into a casserole dish. The reason I like to call it a stewed cod dish is because it's going to have a, it's going to have a lot of liquid in there. We're going to use some stewed tomatoes and it's really going to provide a lot of liquid in the dish itself which is going to keep that fish nice and moist and really make it kind of a stew. Let's we'll just go over the ingredients real quick. I'm going to have some green peppers in there. I'm also going to have some red peppers as well as some chopped up onions. We want to cut these very coarsely. We want to have nice big chunks in our stew. Stuff that you can really stick a fork into. Coriander. We're also going to use some Parmesan cheese. First step. Here's what we want to do. Take the stewed tomatoes and put them in a hot oil with garlic and let that garlic flavor get into this sauce. Again, it's going to be a great flavor, but you really need to introduce that flavor of the garlic in the oil, which then goes into the sauce. So bear with me here. We'll get it done. Start with a nice hot pan. We're going to put in about a tablespoon of butter. Just let that melt down. And we're also going to make sure that we get all of our cloves, these are two cloves of chopped garlic that I chopped up a little bit ago. Going to put that in as well. Stir that around and it's already smelling good. Once we get that, we're going to add some of the stewed tomatoes in there. Woo! Little flames going, which really isn't supposed to happen, but Going to add a little bit more of those stewed tomatoes. Really want a lot of juice in this dish. Not only is that juice going to add to the flavor of the dish itself, but that juice is also going to keep the fish, the cod chunks that we chuck, chunk up and put in the dish, going to keep it really moist. Want to let this cook maybe about five or ten minutes. Again, we just want to release the flavor of the garlic into the uh, into the sauce, into those stewed tomatoes. We want to boil, just cook them down a little bit, make sure that they're nice and tender. They will get even more tender in the dish itself when it bakes. Let's go chop up or chunk up the, uh, the cod and we'll chunk up all the, the peppers and the onions and we'll get those ready and this should be ready for that. We'll combine it all together and we'll get going. Yeah. There you go. We have some nice big chunks of these vegetables, the peppers and the onions. Just really, that's what you want it to look like. Nice big chunks of that stuff in there. And what we're going to do now is really just go get the stewed tomatoes. We're going to incorporate that in here. We'll chunk up the fish, put it all together and we'll bake it. All right, well here's what you want to do. You want to put this in a 425 degree oven. You want to cook it for about 25 to 30 minutes. Keep your eye on it. You want that, f that fish to be nice and flaky, nice white color. Put it in. I'm going to do some cleanup. Be right back. Okay, well it's been 25 minutes. Fish looks good. Let's eat. Oh yeah. Ooh, I wish you could smell this. Yeah, baby. And there you have it. That is on the hook style, baked or stewed, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. But that right there is on the hook cod. Here's another thing you can do. You can actually take a little bit more of the Parmesan cheese, which I love to do. The more cheese and butter, the better for me. Set that aside, and we'll dig in. Oh yeah. Mmm. That is a delicious, hearty meal and you're gonna love it, trust me. For this recipe and more, go to onthehook.com. Telling you, you're gonna like this. Right. There you go, yeah. Bait gets dropped, down she goes. What comes up, nobody knows. I'm the Dr. Sue for fishing. If you can't stand touching bait, you probably don't wanna go cod fishing. Because I mean, this stuff here is not very appetizing. Nice move! Give me the cameraman. High five to the cameraman. Let's go. Let's get him in.